Hi, I'm Dr. Aaron Weaver, and in this video, I'm going to do a quick review of chest drainage systems. First, I'd like to introduce you to our patient. This is Mr. Elephant. Unfortunately, Mr. Elephant has suffered a pneumothorax, but thankfully, we have successfully placed a chest tube. However, as you can see, this chest tube is not currently connected to any kind of chest drainage system. It's just open to the room. When our patient takes a breath in, lowering his intrathoracic pressure and drawing air from the room through his trunk and into his lungs, he's also going to draw air through this chest tube into his pleural space, where we don't want it. So something has to be done about that. As you can see, we have now connected the end of this tube to this other tube that goes to this jar. The tubing connects to this straw, which dips down into this blue water. This is water seal. Now when our patient takes a breath in, lowering his intrathoracic pressure, he can no longer draw air from the room up through the tube because the water is in the way. The water level will rise up in the straw, which we call tidling, and when he breathes out, the air can come out and bubble through the fluid out into the room. But what if Mr. Elephant doesn't just have a pneumothorax, what if he has a hemothorax as well, or some other fluid draining from his chest? With our current setup, the blood is going to drain into our water seal chamber, causing the level of fluid in that chamber to rise. As the fluid level rises in the water seal chamber, it actually becomes more difficult for pleural air to escape the chest. Eventually, this could impede lung re-expansion. We can solve this problem by adding another jar in front of the water seal jar, as you can see here. Now, fluid can drain and collect here instead of the water seal jar. Air can still exit the chest, passing freely through the new collection jar, then into the water seal jar like before, where it can bubble out into the room. And when our patient breathes in, you see the fluid level rise or tidal and the water seal tubing. This is a pretty good system now. Air can get out of the chest and it can't get back in, and fluid has a place to collect without getting into our water seal chamber. But what if the lung is still not re-expanding well despite this? Maybe there's a large air leak from the lung parenchyma itself, or maybe there's a lot of thick fluid that's difficult to drain from the chest, and this is where suction comes in. So connecting to wall suction will effectively pull air and fluid out of the chest. However, you don't want to connect directly to wall suction because of the very high negative pressures the wall suction is capable of. You want something in between that will regulate the pressures, and this is where a third bottle comes in. The suction control bottle steps down wall suction to the desired level based on the depth of this straw beneath the water level. If the straw is very deep, a higher level of suction can be transmitted to the patient. If the straw is shallow, only a lower level of suction can be transmitted to the patient. This is the traditional three bottle system for chest drainage. And it works great, but it would be a lot of work to set up all these bottles and tubes every time. So modern systems combine all three chambers into one device. This is the chest drainage system that we use in our hospital. And although it's shaped like a box, it's based off of the three basic chambers that we just discussed, only in a little different shape. Tubing from the patient's chest connects here, and just as before, the first chamber in the series is the collection chamber for fluid. Next is the water seal chamber, again filled with blue water. When the patient breathes in, you can observe this fluid level rising, or tidling, in the straw, and when air escapes the pleura, it's seen bubbling through the water here. Finally, the third bottle is suction control. This device actually uses dry suction rather than traditional wet suction like we just went over. So the mechanics are different, but the idea here is still that the device allows you to step down the high level of wall suction to the desired level for your patient. That's our quick review on the basics of chest drainage systems. Thanks for watching.